Life story of Saint Zita of Lucca. This is a story of a humble woman, Saint Zita, patron saint of domestic workers, housekeepers and wait staff, was one of those who would be overlooked in society. Yet, due to her kindness, dedication to her work, piety and loyalty, she became one of the most respected in the household she served. Even before her canonization over 150 miracles were attributed to her intercession during her lifetime she exemplified kindness to the poor Saint Zita was born in 1212 in Tuscany her mother was very virtuous and formed Zita and piety from a young age Zita had a happy disposition and she was known to be conscious and virtuous Zita's family was quite poor so she began working as a servant for a wealthy family when she was 12 years old. Her work as a servant was burdensome but she always strove to carry it out with exactitude and happiness. Zita treated her work as her particular duty to God. She strove to carry out the commands of her employer perfectly. She took such care to fulfill her duties faithfully. that her fellow servants became jealous of her zita's fellow servants treated her unjustly for many years they mocked her gave her extra work and even beat her because they envied her diligence and holiness none of the ill treatment caused her to lose her joyfulness or piety she showed continuous love to those who treated her poorly and she accepted the ill treatment with great self restraint Despite her many duties, Zita devoted time to prayer and daily mass. She often deprived herself of sleep in order to rise before the rest of the household for prayer and mass. Zita's constant example of piety and love eventually helped bring her employers to conversion. After she spent years in patient suffering and devoted service they placed her in charge of the entire household as head of all the servants Zita treated those under her command with great kindness she did not seek revenge against those who had treated her unjustly in the past the only instances in which she was harsh was in ensuring that vices were not introduced among them Whenever Zita discovered any failings among the servants in her charge, she was quick to take any blame she could herself or to defend them as much as she could to the employers. Zita also made use of the authority her employers gave her in order to give alms to the poor. In her charity, she was also known to exercise prudence, giving aid to only those who truly needed it. Legends, a story sometimes depicted in depicted an art concern Sita carrying bread in her cloak to bring to the poor jealous servants reported this to the master who confronted Sita upon opening the cloak however it was found to be full of flowers one anecdote relates a story of Sita giving away her own food during a famine and that and then that of her master when he remonstrated with her for depleting the family's own resources They found the pantry fully stocked. There are various versions of the miracle of the loaves. Loaves. On one morning, Zita left her chore of baking bread either to tend to someone in need or was deep in prayer in her room. She returned to find in the kneading trough the loaves all ready set and prepared, or already baked. Since neither the servants nor the mistress knew who had prepared the bread, it was commonly attributed to angels on another occasion zita was returning from distributing alms when she encountered a beggar having nothing left to give him she accompanied him to the village well to draw him a cool drink she let a copper jug down into the well and in the act of holding it out to him made the sign of the cross over the water praying that this drink might be blessed to the poor wayfarer As he made to drink he found that the water had turned into wine Sita remained in service to the family until her peaceful death in her room she foretold her death and prepared spiritually for it
Upon her death the legend is that the church bells began to toll her employer's family which had initially caused much suffering in their treatment of her championed her canonization Zita's body was exhumed 600 years after her death and was found to be incorrupt it remains on display at the church of Sant Frediano in Lucca a city of which she is patron We pray may God help us turn our work of serving others into a prayer each day. Help us choose to serve God through our service to others and that we may persevere in virtue throughout our life as Saint Zita did and that we may never let any obstacles prevent us from serving God. Amen. This is an end of the series of women saint stories uh, which we were writing every day. This is an initiative from the Catholic Women's Collective of the Archdiocese of Bangalore and this video is being prepared by Resurrection Church. Thank you all for the support, prayers and thank you for watching and sharing. May this bring in a change in our lives. I pray. Signing off. Thank you. God bless.